This is a Power BI report which pulls in API data from different sources in order to take a look at some of the metrics which relate to GDP, debt, and the national deficit for the United States of America. In the column here, you'll see that we have some of the metrics which are included in the graphs, GDP, GDP dollars per worker, national debt, national debt dollars per worker, the federal deficit, which for 2015 was negative in parentheses, the federal deficit per worker. So for every person in the workforce, there's about a $3,000 deficit in 2015. And then also the value of M2 money stock. If we go ahead and add another decade from the slicer, you'll see that the 1960s then get added to every visualization on the page. Looking at the first chart here, it's a scatter plot and you can see that it's graphing national debt dollars per worker versus federal deficit dollars per worker. We can open that up for a better look and it's just an interesting trend that in recent years there is a much higher national debt uh, per worker. Uh, for example, in 2012, the federal deficit per worker was over $7,000 and the national debt dollar per worker is over $100,000, which is a large value. Moving back to the report, we can move to the next chart, which is looking at the federal deficit as a percent of GDP, which are the bars, and also at the unemployment percentage, which is the line. And the red bars are years where the deficit was negative, and the black bars are years where there was actually a surplus. Opening up that chart, there appears to be an interesting relationship where in the years that there was a larger deficit, there was also higher unemployment. Perhaps the two are related or perhaps they're not, but it's an interesting visualization nonetheless. The year with the highest surplus, 2000, in that year unemployment was only 4%, whereas in 2010, when deficit as a percent of GDP was negative 8%, unemployment was all the way up to 9.6%. Once again, I'm not trying to claim any type of causation. It's just an interesting graph to look at and uh, visualize this data mashed up together. Moving to the bottom left, looking at national debt dollars per worker and GDP dollars per worker, you can see that over time, there was always a nice separation between those two lines. But then in recent years, there is now more national debt per worker than GDP per worker. So that trend is rather interesting. Let's go ahead and uncheck the 1960s to get a clearer view of the final chart, which is looking at GDP, the blue bars, national debt, the gray bars, M2 money stock, the yellow bars, and then the red line is the debt dollars per M2 money stock dollars, and the black line is GDP dollars per debt dollars. You can see some interesting trends here over time. Let's just cut down to the last 15 years. And in 2015, the national debt actually surpassed GDP, and there is now approximately a buck and a half of debt for every dollar in M2 money stock, and there's approximately one dollar of GDP annually for each dollar in debt. And there's also a notes and documentation page that you can use to reach out to me with any questions or suggestions, or visit the links where you can go get these open data sources for yourself in order to reproduce or improve upon the report that I've shown in this video.